what I'm going to do today is uh, for the first half an hour, I'm going to just share with you six stories uh, from a bet. So six, six messages that I've gotten. I hope to pass it along and like to share with you. And um, yes. So who am I? Why am I speaking here? So my name is Lennon. I'm from Amity Bets, uh, one of the bets there. And um, I've uh, qualified from the RBC, Rory Bet College, in 2004. I have also got a little certificate in uh, small animal medicine. I, my interest lies in sort of acupuncture, keyhole surgery, and also the exotic species. Uh, that's very, very boring. Okay, so that's what all vets would say. I just wanted to impress that vets, just like you, you're not just a vet, you're not just a dog trainer, you're not just uh, dog behaviorist or dog walker. Um, we do have a sense of humor. So when I got that in and did that, uh, my boss couldn't really figure out what to do with me. It's like, yeah, I wrote vet because I like being a vet. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah. I just want to remind that, uh, us that I'm also a pet owner. That's my little hamster. I'm also a husband. I'm also a father. I was in the army as well. And I'm also a salsa dancer. <laughs> and more recently, you know, I also played basketball, water polo, roller skate, and more recently I became a couple Easter as well. I just want to impress that we are more than what we think we are. And more importantly, we are actually not who we think we are. Raise your hands if you feel you know yourself very well. <laughs> I'd like to challenge you with this thought today. We are not our thoughts. Our thoughts, if you think about it, are an accumulation of our past experiences, history and learning. We have no idea what we're going to do in the future. So if you look back and ask yourself when you were, say, 10 years old, can you imagine that you were doing this today? Or over here, being a professional as you are. But it is so common, it's so often that we hear very often, you know, um, math's not my thing. I'm good with animals. I'm not so good with numbers. You know, um, I, I, I'm, uh, I, I don't take risk. You know, I am um, a very forgiving person, or I'm not a very forgiving person. I'm a very, very stubborn person. We give ourselves all these sort of beliefs that really restrict us of who we may be or who we may become because the reality is that we have no idea who we are. And if we accept that and embrace the fact that we don't know everything. I like to imagine this room as our knowledge. So where we are sitting right now, where you are sitting right now, is what you know you know. If you look around the room, you will see, for example, what is in Becky's pocket. No idea. What is in my pocket? No idea. But you know you don't know that. So around the room is what you know you do not know. Once you get outside the room, you do not know what you do not know. It is a huge space. So we have to remember that we are not our thoughts. Our self-limiting beliefs that hold us back, we have to let it go. And more importantly, we have to learn constantly. As Bruce Lee said, we have to empty the cup. A cup is only useful if it is empty. We have to empty the cup because we simply don't know. So that's my first story and my first message.